Sup sup everyone, it's really to me B, and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Black Randomized Dex Lock. A series on my channel where I am playing a randomized version of Pokemon Black, and I need to guess the Pokedex numbers for our encounters. And if I get right, well I can go ahead and catch them, and if I get it wrong, well, we miss out. Last episode, we explored N's castle, we learned a little bit about N and Getsis and their history, and then we ended up getting our box legendary restaurant, which is Pokedex number 176. It was a token tick, a little bit disappointing, but uh, whatever. And then we battled N and Getsis, and now we ended up back home, and this episode, well, it's kind of hard to explain, and it's about to be explained in just a second, so we'll wait there. But before we get started, folks, hit that thumbs up button to like this video, and if you are new to the channel, also hit that subscribe button too, if you don't mind. Welcome home, Timmy B. Seems like you've been through many amazing things, is it not so? Yeah, I basically just saved the world, Mom. Aren't you proud? Incredible, really. Amazing, absolutely, meeting these two Pokemon of legend. Ah, ah, this is... Oh, I still wear my disguise, pardon me. Or rather, let me introduce myself. I am a globetrotting elite of the international police. My name? Ah, no, I should inform you of my codename only. My codename, it is Looker. It is how I am called. Behind the scenes in this region of Yanova, an organization called Team Plasma conspires. This I have heard, and therefore to this region I must come, but... Thanks to the gym leaders and to you, yes, Team Plasma's castle has fallen. And the team members, they have gone upon their separate ways. This is what I hear most certainly. But, however, however, but... The ones known as the Seven Sages, still, they hide themselves in the Yanova region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must ask this of you, trainer of amazing skill. Travel the Yanova region and search it up and search it down for the Seven Sages. Alder, the champion of renown, recommended you to notice. Are you willing to help me? Well, sure, let's help out this, this stranger who's in our house who dressed like our mom. Excellent, I thank you. Now, I feel as if I have perhaps a million people on my side. Permit me to give you this into your hands. And we got a Super Rod, an item that does absolutely nothing for what he just told us to do. That's a Super Rod, right? Yes, correct. It certainly is a Super Rod. Weren't we talking about Team Plasma's Seven Sages? What, 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 what does this have to do with looking for, for those people? I see. It is truly Timmy B's Mama Asso. What a magnificent question. I admire it. It is my pleasure to answer. Absolutely nothing! Uh, okay. Yes, I shall provide the explanation of this the Super Rod. First, face the water and employ the rod. Second, concentrate your focal point. When it occurs that these Pokemon bite, exclamation point will indicate. Immediately, reel it in. For the rest, Timmy B, I depend on you. Yeah, so that's basically what we need to do this episode, is we need to go find uh, Getsis's boys, the Seven Sages, and uh, they'll give us a TM and everything. So we just need to go around the Yano no blah, 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 the Yanova region to find them. And uh, there are a couple of new routes and some new areas as well. So potential for new encounters. Uh, the team that we have right now is probably the team that will be going into the second time that we battled the Elite Four to become champion. So if it's not the greatest encounter, if we get it wrong, it's not going to be the end of the world in my eyes. And here are our friends Sharon and Bianca, and Cedric Juniper is now updating us to the National Dex, which absolutely means nothing, again, to us, because we're doing this randomized. But in the regular game, if you're playing this straight through, if you're playing this vanilla, that means you can encounter pretty much any Pokemon, which we already could because we randomized it. Look at that. See how it works? Okay. So the first Seven Sages is actually going to be uh, right around here, right on Route, route 1. Uh, we will be get. Oh, come on, really? Magmar! Hello there, buddy. Alright, we'll do... We'll probably speed up a little bit. Uh, but we can surf now here, and we can access Route 17 and Route 18. If, for whatever reason, we do run into some uh, trainers or anything, they'll be pretty underleveled, because we could have gotten here when we had surf. 
So uh, they, they'll probably be in like the level like 30s and 40s, but hopefully we can avoid most, if not all, trainers. But we are still on Route 1 technically, so once we go in here, that's when we'll open up Route 17 for potential encounter. And I know I, I'm a big guy who, who likes to get all the items and everything like that, uh, but that's not really the point of this episode. I really just want to find these seven sages and get on with my day. So if we do see an item, great. If we're able to pick it up, even better. But I'm not going to really go out of my way to see an item. We already have a bunch of mass bros. We already have a couple of lucky eggs. So I think we'll be fine. We got dual shop. Okay, now, now we're talking. That is a decent TM. Nice dragon type. And our guess will be even. Let's go even. The ducklet. Okay, well, okay. Is ducklet even? It is. It's number 580. Got it. All right, so we are able to catch this ducklet. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll try once or twice, you know. We got we got, we got got a couple of bulge balls. Stay in the ball, buddy. Hey, all right, cool. And since I am basing this off How I Met Your Mother characters, I think this is actually a good Pokemon to name Barney after one of the main characters, Barney Stinson. Uh, he did wear a ducky tie for an entire season, so uh, that makes sense. Okay, well, let's change the current dex number to 580. Now that is Ducklet, so that was a quick, easy change. And then our next guess is going to be higher or lower than 580. If I was a betting man, I would say under. <sighs> Alright, we are going to run away from this. We are going to throw on a repel. Wherever they uh, might be in our bag. We got plenty of them. There, there they are. 28? Okay, perfect. Oh, I did not want to run into that battle. But hey, it happens to the best of us. You have a Beehime, who's level 35, as I said. You have Trace. Okay. A couple of wing attacks. You should go down. Yeah. And we got a little bit of a maze here. So let's go... Alright, that was not much of a maze. Because this is where we needed to go. Alrighty, now we gotta make our way this way. And all we have to do is go right here. It smells of the sea here, it says rude. This place has the same ocean smell as where I was born. Gets us wandered the lands of this world all over, collecting knowledge of all kinds while searching for like-minded people. From the moment we met, he understood what I desired. The ability to understand the minds and the needs of others. This is an ability that everyone needs to survive. My Lord End is a kind and excellent person who understands the hearts of Pokemon. But conversely, perhaps his ability to understand the hearts and the feelings of people is not developed enough. But even that was a part of the profession of Getsus' plan. When it comes to Getsus, I cannot separate the truths from the lies. See this? I received it from Getsus, but I no longer need it. I hope you can put it to good use. And TM32 pound. Well, not not quite. Someday, if my Lord N develops the ability to understand the feelings of people as well as Pokemon, I would like us to gather again. More than anything, I want to see N confront Getsus. Ah, and now about Team Plasma. I am an officer of the International Police, and there are so many things you must tell me at once. If that is what you desire. Many thanks! Now, Getsus, notwithstanding, there yet to be... There yet remains but five of the seven stages, still at large. And I will be getting this item because I believe this is actually uh, HM. Yes, it is HM05 Waterfall, and you know what? This is also Route 18, so uh, in order to get an encounter, I say, why not? Let's guess lower! Uh, it is not. Oh my god, we could add a thunderous? We could add a Thunderous too? Oh, that is not lower. I'd be absolutely shocked. That's definitely not lower. Well, we could add a... What is with me in all these, like, legendary encounters? You know what I mean? 
642, yes, that is not lower than 580. So we got to run away from this, sadly, but that would be way too long of a grind and everything like that. So it is what it is. Okay. The next place we do need to go to is to the Dream Yard. And now that we have beaten everybody, we have uh, accessed up the rest of the Dream Yard. And, like, we can go down and stuff, which is cool. Woo! Oh, man, we gotta battle these people. Ugh. Okay, Sableye, 63, good, goodness gracious, uh-oh, we are a little under-leveled, grudge, uh, that is fine, you can grudge all you want. And a go lurk, Alan, okay, I did not expect the levels to be this high. Charge? Okay, I don't think you actually had an attack. I don't think you ever attacked us last episode. Ice Beam? Alright, that won't do too much, yeah. And a Hunter. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Okay. All right, so we got to play Avoid the Trainers. Got it. That is that is what we need to do here, folks. I am not looking to lose anybody right now. I'll just say that. I am not looking to lose anybody right now. Ah, dang it. Okay. Electric? Okay, we can handle an electric. Especially if your name is Hammond! Mareep? Uh, that's fine. We can keep in here, Mareep. Okay. Ooh, like mail! Speaking of like, and mail, hit that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to me as well. Perfect, perfect item to, to remind you guys to hit that thumbs up button. Boo! Were you surprised? Oh, trainer who destroyed our castle, I was quite surprised by you. If you surprise them, both Pokemon and people leave themselves open. While they're in a state of surprise, they can't use their powers like they normally would. Our intention was to surprise people by making our castle appear and showing off the legendary Pokemon. In that moment, we planned to deeply impress people's hearts with the awesome power of Team Plasma and the brilliance of our new world. Now that I've seen the strength of the spirit and view in the gym leaders, I wonder how effective that strategy would have been after all. And maybe that strength of spirit is what I needed to take Pokemon to the next level. Huh, I'm sorry to have wasted your time with this silly conversation. Take this with you. And Barrage! Another not great move. Make sure you guys say hydrate, everybody. My lord ends dream. You were the one who put a stop to that. Please don't ever forget that. Ah, and now about Team Plasma. I'm an officer. Oh, you say the same thing? Okay. Well, all right, whatever. I am not doing the looker voice every single time. Okay, next, next place we need to go to is the Relic Castle. Which is... Come on. Pinwheel Force? No. No, no. Rel oh, we can't fly there. All right, well, Nimbasa City awaits us, and then we will make our way to the Relic Castle. Let's just heal up here, because you can never be too safe, apparently, based on uh, who we've been battling. So, yeah. All righty. All right, let's throw on a repel. We got uh, super lucky right there. <laughs> oh, Professor Juniper. 
Hi there, it's Timmy B. I heard about these Pokemon statues and I came in to look into their origins. I've learned that each of these Pokemon statues is actually a real Pokemon. It's called Darmanitan. It's sleeping, so it's become like a stone. When I quickly measured how long they've existed, it was amazing, around 2,500 years. Seems like that they went to sleep that long ago. This means they've been here since before this place was in ruins, when the Relic Castle was flourishing. Perhaps they were guarding the city. Perhaps. These Pokemon, they are either in a state of hibernation or meditation, so if you wake them, they will become active once again. And the item that wakes up Darmanitan is actually the Rage Candy Bar, and I'll give you one. Alright, well, let's wake one of these up. Maybe we can catch it. Maybe it's awesome. Let's see. It's a why not. Okay, we are not going to catch that one. Alright, so let's work on the seven sages. Uh, luckily, now that we're here, we should be able to uh, easily access this, I think. I believe. Ah! Alright, I guess not. I thought I thought we could. Oh well. Oh ready. Another repel. Another repel don't hurt nobody. I gotta, I gotta remember that I can't run through these. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry, right, we'll make our, we'll, we'll take our time here. Yeah. I... sure. Team Plasma! Ah! Ah! Alright, we got a battle Team Plasma now. And you have a Kingdra! Okay, that is actually uh, somewhat decently scary. Okay, uh, Penny. Discharge, okay. Well, we predicted the right switch. Dragon Rush, uh-oh, 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 okay. Yeah, we are definitely gonna have to do a little bit of grinding, uh, needless to say, and okay, okay, okay. Alright, discharge, you can discharge all you want. Okay, we're paralyzed, that's fine. We were gonna go second anyways, so, sure. Alright, that's fine. We got rid of Kingdra. We got rid of Kingdra! Okay. We just running in. Are we just running in circles here? Okay, nope. Never mind. <laughs> oh, little Totodile! Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Snow warning. Oh, that's cute. All right. Really? One step, Totodile. One step. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. All right, let's throw another bell. All Uh, I guess we'll go up this the staircase, and I guess we'll go up this one. And you know what? Why not? Just because it's fun, let's do this one as well. And you know, one more for good measure. Oh, you know what? Another one for good measure. 
All right, you know what? Let's let's just keep. Okay. Barrier. Oh boy. Wait, what? Uh, okay. I am uh, lost. So I'm just gonna cut to when I get to that seven sage. All right, and we're back. That actually didn't take too long. Uh, I just had to look it up real quick. But basically, I didn't know that there were some doors down here. But anyway, beside the point, we're here. I was planning to catch the Pokemon called Volcarona that lives in this relic castle and present it to Getsus. But the Shadow Tree had said that Getsus has gone somewhere, right? The Seven Sages. We always said we were complete when the seven of us were together. Now I don't know the meaning of those words anymore. I guess I don't mind, even if it were being used. But the dream is over. I no longer need this. Guess it's gave it to me, but I have no use for it. False swipe! That's actually not that bad of a move. This relic castle and our castle are both crumbling, but what's different is this relic castle is the remains of a civilization and our castle left nothing behind. And here comes Looker. Three more remain, folks. Three more remain. And uh, since we're here, since we're here, let's go ahead and catch this Volcarona. It's going to be level 70. It's going to be randomized. So we have a Master Ball. I'm just going to throw a Master Ball on it because it is level 70, like I just said. But if it is anything decent, it, like, it could be added to the team, which would actually be super helpful. Uh, I am going to guess lower just because we're playing the odds. So I'm going to guess lower for this one. Let's see what our Volcarona has been randomized to. Oh... Okay, that is definitely higher. That is another uh, legendary and mythical here uh, from Gen 5. It is 648. Oh my god. All right, well, I probably won't use this because I did guess wrong, but just for time's sake and to not lose anybody in battle, we're just going to throw one of our Master Balls at this Meloetta. Dang, I wish I, wish I had guessed higher. Uh, and we will name you... Lily. Okay, let's, I will guys uh, then cut around, to, uh, we'll get out of here, I will cut to the next one, which should be in Dripvale City. See you guys there. Alright, and we are back here in the cold storage for the next of the Seven Sages. I actually did check out our Mellow Etta's ability and moveset. It actually wasn't that great. It had Bad Dreams as the ability, which is good if the Pokemon is sleeping, but eh. And then the moveset was kind of weak, so probably wouldn't be added to the team even if we did guess correctly. But either way, here we go. I believe this is in Zolan. Yes. So you returned. You're an odd trainer. All right, I've got time enough to satisfy your curiosity. Breathing. Having a heart that beats. That is simple existence and nothing more for a living being. That may be the definition of living, but I don't think that defines life. The experiences of joy and suffering are a vital part of being alive. Getsis gave me the sensation of truly being alive. What did he mean to accomplish? That isn't what's important. Right now, I'm shivering, I'm suffering, but I'm alive. You're in a nice box, yeah. Pokemon and people live by being together and relying on one another. That might be how you feel. If that is so, it is necessary to separate people and Pokemon. But by talking to you, I've discovered that there's much I needed to think about. I wish I had more to give you, and thanks, but here, take this. Mirror move! Wow, come on, Seven Sages. We gotta pick up the TMs a little bit. My Lord Ed said that he wanted to make Pokemon perfect. But even if the relationship between Pokemon and people stayed as it is now, Pokemon can aspire to perfection. And here comes looking, Looker to arrest. There are two more remaining folks, and I will see you at the next one. And we are back here in the Charge Stone Cave for the next one. I believe this is Bronius. It is Bronius. Nice. I'm also looking at a guy that told me it was Bronius. But anyways, when I saw you in Castellia, I did not care about your existence. Well, thank you, Bronius. But here in the Charstone Cave, gets us tested your ability. Once more, we will test you to learn what it is you are. Team Plasma, come out! Oh. We battling? Okay, cool. Alright, please have easy Pokemon for us. Haunter, we... Alright, that is A-OK -okay for us. Sweet! 
seed bomb. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Drift Blim, Drift Blim, oh, Drift Blim is going to be super, super scary for us. Super, super, super scary. Stockpile? Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Roost? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, you... Stop roosting! Stop it! Oh, come on, if you roost... Alright, thank you. Thank you for not roosting again. Thank you for not roosting again, my friend. Alright, one down, one to go. Here we go. Let's see what you have, my friend. A little fampy. Aw. How cute. How cute. We had one. His name was Kevin. Hyper voice. Okay. Vibrava. Yeah. Triple kick does nothing. Fisher! Oh, good God. That could have hit us. That could have hit us, and that would have knocked out Alan. Oh, my goodness. And a trap inch. All right, well, please. Also, you do not have Fisher either, my friend. There we go. Woo! Woo! Dang. Okay. No surprise, Bronius gives us TM69, but Twin Needle, come on, dude. Come on, dude. And here comes Licker to arrest all them stuff. I will see you guys at the final one. And we are back here at the top of the Celestial Tower. We are actually not getting the seventh and final Sage. And I'll show you guys why, because uh, there is a whole other couple of towns that we haven't even been to in the Yanova region. And this is for after we become champion. So at least the good news is we did get the first six. But as you can see, the uh, final seventh one is right over here on Route 14. But we haven't even been to these three towns yet. That is for after we become champion. But we do need to make it here to the top of the Celestial Tower. As you can see, Alder is here. My old partner is resting here in the Celestial Tower. It was the first Pokemon I received when I became a trainer. I came here to ring the bell and comfort its spirit. It was a strong Pokemon. It was courageous, noble, and kind. Together, we madly pursued strength without even knowing the meaning of strength. But in the same way that all stories have a beginning and an end, all lives have an end as well. It was then that I understood that strength isn't something that remains unchanged forever. However, the joy one feels in being with Pokemon, that is the real thing. In order to spread the word, I left the Pokemon League and kept traveling. That's right, traveling is wonderful. I've met many different Pokemon, many different trainers, and now I've met all of you. Well, Timmy B, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. Alder is right, and that kicks off... The next episode will be the finale of the Pokemon Black randomized dex lock as I need to do a little bit of grinding, but we are going to become champion of the Unova region. We are finally going to defeat Alder, and this will be the final episode of this series. I know it has been going on for quite some time, but that means you guys just need to hit that thumbs up button to like this video. Also hit that subscribe button. I got to do a little bit of grinding, so I will see you guys in the next video. It's really Timmy B telling you guys and gals to have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.